Have you ever wondered why we were born in sin? Like, because Adam and Eve blew it, we therefore became sinners because of their mistakes? Doesn't seem quite fair, does it? Well, in today's video, we're going to tackle this very issue, see what the Bible says, and hopefully bring some understanding to this whole issue about sin. So let's jump into it. Our culture rejects the notion that humans are born into sin. Modern psychology considers it taboo to explain people's problems as being a result of sin. And yet, here's the problem. When you fail to realize that there is such a thing as sin, that there is a God, and that we have abandoned His principles, that we have turned from His holiness, that we wanted to do things our own way, you're not going to be able to properly diagnose the issues that people are faced with. And if you can't diagnose the problem, you will not be able to provide the right treatment. The Bible makes it perfectly clear in 1 Kings 8, 46, that there is no one here, no one on earth, no one who's ever lived who has not sinned. Everyone has sinned. Matter of fact, King David openly confessed in Psalm 51, verse 5. He said this, surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. This is known as original sin in Christian theology. You see, what happened was because of Adam's free choice, see, he self-determined to rebel, to do something that he knew not to do, but he had the free will to do what he wanted to do. And in making that choice, he had now the potential to do something that was contrary to what God said. Now, because Adam chose to do the wrong and not to obey God, he sinned. And as a result, you and I and the human race, we inherited a sinful nature. You see that in Romans chapter 3 and 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Now, before sin came through Adam in nature, there was an angel whose name was Lucifer. You see this in Isaiah 14 and Ezekiel 28. Now, Lucifer, all angels have free will. He chose to rebel against God and wanted to be greater than God. And in this rebellion, he was cast from heaven. And Satan enters the Garden of Eden and he finds Eve and he tempts her to eat from a fruit that God had forbidden them to eat from. Now, the sad thing is Eve gives in. She eats of this forbidden fruit and she offers it to her husband, Adam, in Genesis chapter 3, verse Six. Now, rather than rebuking Eve and not listening to her, Adam gives in to his wife. By obeying her, he disobeys God. So here's the bottom line. Since Adam and Eve sinned, we have been born into sin. And you think, well, that's not fair. Well, guess what? If you and I were in place of Adam and Eve, I believe it's not a matter of if we would have sinned, but a matter of when we would have sinned. Because with free will, the potential of sin existed then. And so when they acted on free will, they rebelled against God and they did that which they should not have done. And they did it anyway. Let me read you a passage in Romans chapter 7. Listen to the words of the Apostle Paul, how he puts it. He says, For I know that good itself does not dwell in me. That is in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. For I do not do the good I want to do, but the evil I do not want to do, this I keep on doing. So my friend, the bottom line is this. Why are we born into sin? Because Adam and Eve blew it and you and I would have blown it too. So when you and I are tempted to sin, let us be reminded and let us be encouraged by the words of Paul in Romans chapter 13, verse 14, where he says, put on Christ that you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please hit that like button. I would love it if you would subscribe if you have not subscribed yet, and I'll see you on the next video.